War Thunder currently has a two versus two duel event going on where you can take all your favorite tier two fighters and mash them up together and fight in a little arena style dogfight. So I thought this would be a fun way to do something a little different, show off some different planes, show off a little bit of tactics, and be a little bit more fast paced than I think the normal videos I put up. So the first aircraft I'm going to take out is the Spitfire Mark IIb. Why is it one of my favorite aircraft? Because it's a Spitfire with cannons on it, and that's that's good. All Spitfires with cannons are good. I don't like the little 303s. We want we want the 20 millimeter. We want the real thing. So we have a Spitfire and a Lag 3 over there. I have an Air Cobra as a wingman. This should go quite spendedly. I'm going to basically do a little dragon bag or a little defensive split action, and I'm going to fly to the left and try to drag that Spitfire over to me. Leave that lag 3 to the Air Cobra, which he should handle quite easily. And then we'll handle the Spitfire after that. So this should turn into a quick and easy dogfight. And that lag 3 is going head off the Air Cobra. He is no longer with us. The Spitfire looks like he's going to try head on. I'm going to roll underneath him and then try and cut back on him. Or the Air Cobra can kill him from behind. That is a pretty fast and easy one there. So that works. A little bit of tactics, you know. A little bit of tactics goes a long way some more thunder. Let's take out the Hellcat, I think, next. Yeah, the Hellcat. And this is going to be... This plane is obviously over overperforming from a flight model standpoint in a couple ways, and I'll touch those real quick. The... Dash 3 is in game and the Dash 5 is the plane that had water injection and so the Dash 3 has water injection in the game. If they remove that feature maybe the Hellcat's battle rating wouldn't be so crazy. But I do think the Hellcat is maybe a little too late. I can't place my finger on what it is. But the Hellcat's flight model doesn't quite... It shouldn't be turning with Spitfires and you'll see here in a minute I'm going to turn fight with Spitfire. And that probably shouldn't happen. From what I know from World War 2, the Hellcat did not turn fight with the zeros and spitfires. I'm going to dodge his head on just like last time. I'm going to roll around and this is going to be pretty easy. The Hellcat's guns have been giving me absolute fits because I cannot find which ammo works for me with the hit registration. Other planes of this tier, the 50 cals, I haven't had so many issues with but the Hellcat for some reason me and it cannot find a perfect harmony of hit registration. And there's the Air Cobra. I'm going to light him up. I'm going to stick on him. There's no way he's going to escape this thing. I have a grasp on him and he's not going anywhere. So you're going to see me use flaps a lot here. That helps me stay on target. Snapped his wing off it looks like. Let's get out of here. All right. I always like to, whenever I get a kill like that and I'm a little bit tunnel visioned, I like to fly straight a bit and down. Locate what where the threat is and then turn. Because I've seen a lot of pilots where they get a kill and then they pull straight up. and sometimes there's somebody behind you waiting for you to do that so it's always good to get a, reacquainted with your surroundings after you kill something and here comes the Spitfire he just killed my wingman I'm really not concerned though let's roll underneath and deploy those flaps and like I said this is where the Hellcat's flight model comes into question So it's a little hard to get snows around, and that's partially me doing weird things with it, but... Here, let's see if we can do a knife edge turn here and catch him. Hello. There's a hit. There's a lot of misses. I can't get my nose quite ahead of him where I want it. This poor Spitfire. He does not know what to do. He may have to want to turn more aggressively. I think that's maybe his problem. I don't know. I want to... If he actually tried to turn fight me a little closer, maybe he would have won instead of weeding me out that far. That was perfect gun range for me. Let's move on to the BF-109E3, which is another one of my favorite planes. I included it in my Bose Worth Under Favorites. And this is more of a energy fighter slash... It's a great turn fighter, but it's also an energy fighter in this game. And let's see what kind of trouble we can into. We can get into. We have uh, a six M two and a Yak one. Yak one 
Those are both good turn fighters over there, so let's use the BF-109's speed and agility to our advantage. I'm going to fly to the side. Like I said I'm not, I can't be as reckless as I was with the Hellcat before. And there goes my Yak-1, what's he doing? All right, looks like that Yak-1 is following me. I got him separated from the A6 and 2. I'm going to roll underneath. You're not going to touch me. And let's try to let's try to make a pass at that zero. That gets a pretty girl at a bar. I'm not going to get my nose out in time. The Yak-1 is still on me. It looks like the other Yak-1 hurt his engine, so that's going to be helpful. His inline engine should die pretty shortly here, so... Not very concerned about him. It's a zero. That's going to be a tough fight. And I've never fought a zero in my BF-109. Yak-1 has big engine problems. I can finish him off here, but I suspect his propeller isn't even turning. Yeah, let's leave that kill to my wingman. Alright, let's make a good run to zero. He does not appear to see me. Fire some rounds. I got a critical hit. I'm not sure on what. Oh dear god. I should have killed that yak one. Did that just happen? Yes, it did. That just happened. Three way collision. Well, I win. Measure Smith wins. Hands down. BF-109 best plane for not colliding. Let's hop over to the next plane, which is the 190A4, which is crushing everything currently in game with its battle rating. I don't think it's going to be the ultimate killer in this thing, because 190s are usually... When people ask me, should I fly 109s or 190s, I think it's based on your pilot skill and how much time you have in game. 109s are much more forgiving aircraft. The 190 has a weird way it... It's a great plane to roll in, but it's hard to turn in, and so in a turn fight like this, at this altitude, this plane might get a little wonky on me, and the instructor, you probably see the instructor kick on a lot, though you do have, the Butcher Bird does have a lot of guns on her nose that will help out in the wing, so we got four cannons, two machine guns, so I'm sure we can overcome any uh, deficiencies that way, oh shit, here he comes, get out that way, alright, so we have the Air Cobra, Try to take a wild burst of ammo here. Got a hit at least. That's probably the machine gun though. Guess you call us a little bit of scissor action here. Oh, that's where this plane's rolling comes into great effect. Right there, when you get those shots like that. And I'll get the nose around in a second. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, I didn't get him. Whoa, 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 easy. Easy. My wingman almost killed me. I don't need that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, I would like my kill here. Zero. I think that's a zero. I'm so blacked out, half the time I can't tell. All right, let's just go in the vertical and... See if we can pounce on him. Going down, he's crashed. And that's it. So, what I was thinking about the 190 is it's, it's. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a great turn fighter, per se. Uh, it's the reason why it's running right in the battle range currently is because it has the performance of an A5, which is engine power and climbing and speed and this and that. But look at the thing roll. It, it's insane when it rolls, but with a turn. The flight model is a little messed up, and you'll see the instructor kind of bite on it. So it's just about trying to use the ability to roll a little bit more to your advantage. Here we have the Kitty Hawk, which does everything great. Or does everything well. I always say the Kitty Hawk does everything good in-game, nothing great. And it's a great balance plane. If you're a new pilot, 
you really need to spend some time in this thing because it's a it can usually hold its own in any fight it gets into so we have two, an air cobra and the hellcat it looks like that guy wants revenge and so this might be a good fight between the p40 and a hellcat so what should I do I do not want to go head on with an air cobra that would not be good for my kitty hawk self we are allergic I didn't even get to do the Hellcat fight because the Hellcat's already dead. Wow, he went head on with the 190. That is bad for your health, kids. Bye. Toodaloo. Have a nice trip. Alright, let's drag the Air Cobra for a bit, but he just churned. So let's roll back. Oh, he's coming at me. I shouldn't have churned. Get under him. Get crazy. Make yourself a hard target. Oh. And I'm going to scissor back on him. Not get killed by my teammate would be swell. America's coming. Well, he's the American plane too. Or is that the Russian one? I can't see. I think that's the American one. Yep, that's easy. Those 50 cals work, no problem. Let's see, what airplane should we do next? Let's go with something Russian. Maybe a... Yeah, let's go with the LA-5 next. So, P-40. <laughs> Great little airplane. I think that's probably one of the best airplanes in this tier. Especially from a balance and flight model standpoint. Here we have the LA-5. Another plane that's probably too low on the battle rating. But in this, it's probably going to face things that it should. Oh my god, I've never fought a... I never fought a Zero in a LA-5. I don't know how this is going to go. I think we should use our speed. This is more of an energy fighter. I think we should use our speed to outrun the Zero. That's my plan. I am not going to win a turn fight with a Zero. This plane was meant to kill Germans, not Jap Japanese. Climbing here off the side. That KI-43 is... That's brave. That is a brave man to bring that into this. Alright, so... If I can get a head on, I might take it in this thing. I have two cannons and the nose. Alright, good for him. He's going to avoid it. The zero. Let's see if I can get a little snapshot. I can't get my nose up. And... I'm a, Yeah, this is... Yep. This is why I'm getting out of town. Oh shit. So this is where we're going to dive. I'm going to be kind of abandoning my wingman here, but I'm no good to him dead, so... As Bismarck would say, it's time to dive away and reset. Because I am not going to win a turn fight with that zero. Any day of the week. Alright, let's climb back up and try to help him. I hopefully can hold out for a little while. like his engine smoking that is not good they almost collided right there that made my life easy zero's not watching me there's a hit there's a critical hit his rudder of all the things to hit I would have really liked an aileron maybe an engine an elevator I got the rudder it's time to dive away again Big bad zero. My wingman's being harassed by this KI-43. I think we can zoom climb here and eliminate this problem. So... Yeah, you don't like those Shavox, do we? The Shavox are coming. Where's that zero? He's still behind me. Looks like he's going for my wingman. I'm the easy kill. Pick me. Roll back over. You know what, what the hell? Let's take a head on here. I'm feeling lucky. Oh god. 
I should have just lost the top of my aircraft for that collision. So we won this, but if it was a real game, the oil leak would have slowly killed me and I probably would make it back to base. Alright, last round out. Let's have one fun time with the Japanese. Let's take out the A6M2. And let's act crazy. This is the most forgiving turn fighter in the game, as it should be. This thing was the dominant in early war in the Pacific, and... We're going to be fighting another A6M2. And a Ishak. Oh god, the two things that might be able to counter me. Let's turn on my smoke. Let's have some fun. So let's fly right at him. Let's see if we can get a couple of dive on me. Come on, attack me. Attack me. Oh, here comes the Ishak. There goes the Ishak. And the Zero is on my wingman. Can a Zero turn fight an Ishak? I'm going to go for no. That is a tiny little plane. Yeah, it's time to go. Ooh, Air Cobra just got a piece of that ice check. Makes that easier. I wonder if he hit him with the 37mm. Actually, it's a stupid question, because if that ice check took a 37mm, he shouldn't be still... He shouldn't be on this earth. He should just be vaporized. Ooh, hello, Zero. Alright. Let's be aggressive. Zoom climb. Head on. Did I mention I sharpened my samurai sword wings today? I guess that works. That's what happens when a zero meets a zero. They just cancel each other out. Most honorable meets most honorable equals. End of world physics stop. So that's two versus two. If you want to have a little quick fun, I recommend you uh, hop in, try some different planes out. Like I said, it was a nice break from the normal eight on eight or six on six matches. And if you enjoyed this, if you have any questions, let me know. But hopefully this is a nice little survey of aircraft. Thanks for watching.